Hello there, neighbor. Alicia Dolan here at Creating in My Corner. I'm glad that you, hold on a second. Let's try that again. Alicia Dolan here at Creating in My Corner. Uh, I am glad that you could join me tonight for another Stampin' Sunday video. I hope that you'll enjoy this. If you want to stamp along with me, Tonight, I am going to uh, try to work start to finish through a card. Some of my pieces are pre-cut already. So I will give you the measurements for those as I go along and I'll try to move slowly enough that you can follow along with me. And if you can't, I'll post the video later over on YouTube and you can watch it there. And I know for a fact that you can uh, reduce the speed of the video, or if I'm going too slow for you, you can speed it up. So I am glad that you're here tonight. I tried to work ahead and get uh, a card finished, but I only got part of the way. So I'm going to show you how to make this card that I just recently learned how to make myself. It's a pop-up card. It's really cool. And uh, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm going to turn the camera around and we will go ahead and get started. So bear with me just a moment. Okay, so now we have switched over here to the crafting table and I will show you what we're going to do. These are the pieces I made for my first card, but we're actually going to make one in lovely pretty purples this time. So maybe if we have time, we'll go back and finish this one at the end and I can show you how both versions turn out. But I need to, real quick here, clean off my skin. Okay, tonight the stamp set that we're working with is called Wisteria Wishes. And this is a really pretty set from the annual catalog if you're looking for that. I will post all the measurements and uh, the list of supplies later. And if you're signed up for my email list, I will also email you a copy of the PDF with the instructions. Now they're just basic instructions, but you can always come back and watch the video again here or over on YouTube. All right, let me move this out of the way real quick because we're going to start with uh, the card base. So I have here a piece of Highland uh, Gorgeous Grape. I don't actually have a Gorgeous Grape ink, but we're going to use Highland Heather. And because our designer series paper has lots of colors in it. I think it's going to look, it's going to look just fine. Okay. I hope you're out there and you're watching. If you are, and you can comment at least that you are there, that is really helpful to me. Or that you can see me or hear me. Let me know if there are any technical difficulties. So this is our piece of gorgeous grape and we are gonna cut this lengthwise at four and a quarter. And then we're gonna turn it to the side and we are gonna cut it at 10 and a half.
And then we're going to score it. So this is where you have to pay a little bit of a little bit more attention than before. I need to scoot this a little bit to the right because I'm running into my camera stand. Okay, so we are going to score it first at the half inch mark. So that's right here. And next at one and three quarters. And I should tell you while we're doing this, I this card was inspired by Rhonda Wade by um, a card I made at one of her team meetings. And next at three and three quarters. And last at five inches. Okay, so there's our first piece. And that's four and a quarter by 10 and a half scored at a half inch, one and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five inches. Now our next piece of cardstock, we need to cut three by five. So I am gonna cut the five inch side first. And then I'll turn it to the side and cut it at three. And then we're gonna turn it back to the side. And we are gonna cut it, uh, score it, Ooh, sorry, at a half inch. and at one and three quarters. Okay, now that we have all our score lines, we're gonna give it a little bit of a fold. So we're gonna fold it first on that half inch line. And I'm gonna get my bone folder over here, just so I can press it down. And then we're gonna fold it at that one and three quarters, just like that. The next one, we're going to fold at a half, again at one and three quarters, three and three quarters, and then five. So now we have our two pieces of cardstock. And I have already cut my designer series paper. So I'm gonna tell you those measurements and go slow enough that hopefully you can cut your paper if that's what you'd like to do. I used the Hues of Happiness paper. I really like this paper. It's really bright and cheerful, which is not uh, what I tend to be drawn towards but it's really pretty. This is the hues of happiness. So your first piece is gonna be cut four by four. So that is just a four inch square. And your second piece is cut one and three quarters by four. Now this paper is, um, has kind of a rainbow of colors on the one side and flower print on the other. So that's what I'm using tonight. And then for your white, you're gonna need two pieces of white. You need one that's four by five and a quarter. And then a second piece that's two and three quarters by three. Now these are our pieces we're gonna stamp on so I'm going to set those aside and we're actually going to do our stamping last. That's um, usually I do my stamping first. So hopefully that turns out right. Okay, now to make this card base, we're going to take our four by four piece of paper and turn it over. And we're gonna use our liquid glue. If you don't like liquid glue, if you prefer uh, some other kind of glue, you're welcome to use that. 
but I found that for me, this is the best in general way to, um, to glue my cards together. So when I put on liquid glue, I always try to remember to do thin lines. So I do a thin line all the way around the edge. You don't wanna go all the way to the edge because this glue will ooze out. And then I do my squiggle in the middle. When you're working with this, you really wanna keep it moving. You don't want any big globs because they will wrinkle your paper. And let's see, I need my flowers to go this way. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put that up at the top and try to center it so that I have about an eighth of an inch around the outside. And then I'm gonna fold this up and in the largest section, that's where I'm gonna put my other piece of designer Sears paper. So this is my piece and I am gonna turn it, let's see, which way do we want it to go? I think this way. So I'll turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing with the glue. So I'm gonna do a thin line around the outside and then a squiggle in the middle. And if you watched me before, you probably heard me say that about a million times, but I know there are people out there who struggle with this liquid glue. So I really want to make sure that I'm giving you, all of you, the best information that I can. And that's what I found works best for me. Okay, so now, oh, and see, I got a little clue close to the edge on this side here. There's a tiny bit of glue, and I'm going to try and rub that. Well, I might have to cover that up with some sparkly gems. I don't know. Hi, Kim. I just saw that you joined me. I'm glad you're here tonight. Okay, so now... We're going to do the next part, which is a little bit tricky. So we're going to take first this piece here, and we're going to add some glue along this half inch strip at the end. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, but our square is really small. So all we need is that line around the outside. We don't need our squiggle down the middle this time. And I'm actually gonna set that aside. Am I gonna do that? Yes, I am. And then this one, we need a little line of glue. Okay, see how I folded that up? So we've got our, it's, it's bending in and our half inch strip is here on the bottom, lining up with this. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a thin line along the edge and a thin line around that half inch strip. And I'm gonna pull that in a little bit because I feel like I got a little close to the edge right there. I'm always a little close to the edge, but not always with my glue. Okay, there's that. And now we're gonna fold here on the second line. And we're gonna fold this right flat against the other part. And glue it down. Oops, sorry, I think I wiggled the table a little bit there. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, so you might have missed the beginning, Kim. I'm trying to go slow in case anyone is following along. But we're making a really cute little pop-up card. 
Okay, so here is what that first part is going to look like. But we have more work to do. So we're going to fold that up like this. And then where we glued this larger piece and this skinny edge, we're going to turn it this way. And then I'm going to line that up so that it's fairly straight along the bottom. Now I'm not measuring. So if you are a measurer, you may want to measure and make sure your all your sides are equal. But I'm just eyeballing it tonight. Mostly because I lost my ruler. I don't I do not know where I put my clear ruler, but I'll find it or I'll get another one, maybe. We'll see. Okay, so now this is what our card looks like. It's really cute. You can see that it stands up on its own. So now we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And tonight I'm going to stamp on the Stamparatus. So I already have my uh, pieces on here from earlier. Do I, which way did I stamp though? <laughs> uh, that's a good question, isn't it? I thought that I stamped to the left, however, Oh, I did. I see now. Okay. I, I have two separate marks on there and I was a little bit confused. Okay. So we are going to take our piece that's four and a quarter. No, this is definitely not the way I stamped earlier. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna start that over because I'm not sure. Oh yes, it has to be that way, doesn't it? Well, maybe it was this way. Because that is where my leaves were right there. All right, so. I'm using the Stamparatus tonight. And on my first plate, I put the leaves from Wisteria Wishes. So they come right here and hang down there on the right hand side. Now I'm gonna take some Mossy Meadow ink Um, tap it over here, add ink to my leaves, and then stamp it down. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece out and set it aside. And I'm going to put my small piece that goes on the front on here next. But let me see, it's going to go this way. So you're going to want it to be taller than it is wide. If the direction of your stamping matters with whatever you are stamping tonight. All right, so there's that. We're going to add a little more mossy metal. And we're going to stamp some more leaves. Okay, so now we've got our front piece and our other piece. Okay. I'm going to use my chamois to just wipe this off. And I'm going to take this plate right off of here because I already lined up 
my little flowers earlier when I stamped this piece. This was my practice piece. But I'm sure I'll use it for something. It won't go to waste. Do not worry. All right. And next, we have our flower bits. So I'm going to get my Highland Heather. If I had a gorgeous grape, I would have used that, but I don't. It may surprise you a little bit to know that I do not have all the colors. For even as long as I've been doing this, I don't have all the colors. I wish I did. Okay. Oops, I forgot to line up my paper. All right. I'm going to do this larger one first. And because I marked my paper with, I put little marks here by each corner, I can just stamp and be confident that they're going to go where I need them to go. So there's the first one. I'm going to put this one up here in the corner. I shouldn't have closed that yet, I suppose. I'll add a little more ink. I wasn't sure at first if I would love this wisteria set, but I really do. I really like the sayings in here. I'll show you that in just a minute when we go to choose our sentence. All right, so that's cleaned off. And here's our piece for the front. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna leave that on there because I may make a few more of these later. All right, so now I need one more piece of white here. I have one right here that should work good. And okay, here is where the sentiments are. So it's got faith is about trusting, happiness grows within, to a friend who's all kinds of wonderful, hang in there, and even when you don't understand. So I like all these, and I like that there's the option of putting even when you don't understand at the end of hang in there, even when you don't understand, or faith is about trusting, even when you don't understand. Because there are a lot of things in life, a lot of times that come up that we don't understand. And I think maybe uh, we're not meant to, I don't know. And maybe that's where our faith comes in. Okay, so I want to put faith is about trusting on my little piece here. And I don't really need my magnet. I'm going to move that off to the side. But I'm going to stamp this in memento ink. So I've got my tuxedo black memento. So, so far, I've only used three colors of ink and um, let's see, basic white paper, gorgeous grape, and hues of happiness. All right, and I am going to stamp this on here. Faith is about trusting, and then I am going to go cut this with a circle and I'm going to cut a little circle background for this and I will be right back.
Okay, so I use the layering circles and I cut this one out that's a smooth circle. And I cut this one out that is a scallop circle to go behind it. So let's put this together and see where we're at. Here is our card. And I'm going to attach this here on the front. I keep losing track of my glue. I keep forgetting that I tucked it in this little, uh, this little turtle, turtle back. And I'm losing it all the time. Okay, so there is our inner piece. And we're just going to glue that right here in the center. Okay, we're going to glue our circle onto our scallop circle. And we're going to use some dimensionals. Now, I my dimensionals on this sheet have run out, but I've taken and snipped each one of these edges with my snips so that I can make the most of my dimensional sheets. I hope that you guys do that too. I always work hard not to waste anything, probably sometimes a little too hard, but. I probably say a few too many things. All right, and then we're just going to stick this little guy right here. And we can turn it over. And we'll turn this over. And we're going to do the same thing again. A line around the edge, a nice thin line. And then a squiggle down the middle. And we'll just turn that over. Oh, I almost put it upside down. Don't do that. I mean, you can maybe, I don't know. They probably would be cute upside down too. Maybe no one would know. Maybe they would turn the card over and not notice. Okay. So there is our back. So on the back, that's where we could write our message. And then on the front is this cute little faith is about trusting, but I think we need some little sparkles. So let's see what kind of sparkly dots we have. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with these rhinestone basic jewels. These are, I know out of all the jewels, these are probably my favorite and they've been around the longest. I love the little rhinestones and I always have loved the little pearls too. But this I feel like this card is a rhinestone card, not a pearl card. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm doing tonight. All right, so here we go. I'll put one here by the sentiment. One, I'm gonna put one here in the little leaves. One, two, and then I'm gonna scatter three little ones, I think, around up here. I know that kind of ruins the rule of threes. A lot of people say that you're supposed to put your rhinestones on in threes. 
but I'm not doing that today. I'm, I'm doing fives. So it's still an odd number, but all right. And now, you know what I want to do is stamp my envelope a little bit to match. So there's our card, our cute little pop-up card. Um, if you are signed up for my email list, you will get the all the measurements mailed out to you this week in this week's email and all the supplies that I use. So you'll get the whole list of, well, it comes in a PDF. So you can print it out, you can save it, you can change it, you can switch out the measurements, whatever you want to do. All right, and I am gonna get my stamparatus back out and stamp my envelope because I like an envelope that matches that matches okay so here's my stamparatus here's my envelope and I want uh, I want I always like to have my image down here in the lower corner so I'm going to put this up let's see it's going to need to be right about here I suppose. And then I'm just going to pick my plate up and see where I want it to be. I think that will give me enough room right there. Okay. So let's stamp right there. But I'm going to stamp off so my image is a little bit softer than it would normally be. So I'm going to tap it up with my Mossy Meadow ink. And I'll stamp it over. And now I can see, too, exactly where it's going to go. And I kind of want it to be right about there, I think. So I can put my magnet down. I'm gonna pick my plate up and I'm gonna huff on it, which just means I'm gonna breathe on it a little bit to reactivate that ink. Otherwise the image might dry out a little more than I want it to. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna clean that one off. Thank you, Kim. I'm glad you like it. I thought that was really fun, that little pop-up card. I saw it. I was like, you know what? That would be great for a video. Super fun. All right, now I got to switch. And I know right where to put my plate because I put the other one in the same spot and I haven't moved my stamps at all. So now I'm gonna ink up my stamp. I'm gonna mark the corner of my envelope because I wanna make sure that I get it back in the same spot. And I can, now I can stamp off. Put my envelope back and I'm going to work kind of quickly because when you're stamping off and huffing your ink can dry out a lot easier. Huff on my stamp and then stamp it down. So there is our second image on our envelope. It's stamped off. So if you ever hear me or read in my directions where it says stamp off or stamped off ink, it just means that you ink up your stamp, stamp it once on a scrap piece, and then you're gonna huff on it a little bit and stamp again. So let me scoot this out of the way. Our card, this is really cool, can fold up just like this and still 
fit in an envelope. So there is our card for this week for Stampin' Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed following along and that you will make one of your own. If you do, will you post it on our, uh, you, can, you can post it and just tag me. I think that would be really cool because I, I'm not sure I've had anyone do that before, but um, I think that would be really cool. And then I wanted to show you too, uh, I didn't finish it, but here is the first one I made on its way to being finished. So this is using the same, uh, the same designer series paper, just a different color. This one is a Knight of Navy base instead of the, and I actually stamped this the wrong direction. So, so I'm not sure how I can fix that other than stamp. I'd already stamped on the other side, so I just have to cut a new piece. But I like, I really like both of those um, color combinations, and I hope that you do too. Hopefully, this will be an inspiring video for you as well. I will see you again next week with another Stampin' Sunday video. I hope you have a wonderful time in between. And happy stamping, neighbor. I'll see you again soon. Bye.